guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are gonna be reviewing yet another pregnancy item. We'll be reviewing the Baby Delight Bedside Bassinet. So if you are somebody that's kind of in between what bassinet to choose, or you just wanna check out the Baby Delight Bassinet like I did, we're gonna be fully unboxing it, reviewing it, putting it together. Let you guys know our initial thoughts. We are first time parents to be, so we have a little baby boy on the way. And so we're kind of just documenting our entire pregnancy journey right here on this channel. So today, bassinet review, Baby Delight, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Baby Delight. Well, first impression, this is significantly lighter than the one we previously reviewed. I'm curious to see how sturdy we feel it is or if maybe the weight in the other one just isn't necessary. And the Baby Delight isn't that heavy. That's a win. <laughs> first impressions, I feel really concerned on the weight of the box. Not even out of the box yet. First impressions are just in the box. Why though? Why? You have to carry the bassinet sometimes from the bedroom to the guest room or the nursery. Sometimes you're like, oh, hey, can you bring it downstairs? Like, who knows? I'm all about weight is important. lightweight. Let's get it. Last time we only needed two materials. We only needed a pair of scissors to open the box and a screwdriver. So I'm very curious if we open this up, what type of tools will we need? Let's find out. I know I'm to the honors. Do it. By the way, the weight, it's officially 24.7 pounds. Weight-wise, if you're concerned, you can move this bad boy around. It's my favorite. A box in a box. Give me a box in a box. Help me. Get it out. It's like giving birth. Push. Let's open this up. So far, you only need scissors. Ah, oh, this looks nice. First impression so far. Watch this. Ah, wow, is that it? Just like one piece, you just pull out everything. This is it. So everything is in this bag. So you can assemble it together. I like the size of it so far. It seems pretty big actually, in terms of like how big it's gonna be for the bassinet part. Let's check out the instructions and see how hard it is for us to put together. Did you see instructions? I bet the instructions are in here somewhere. Nope. It is so easy, you don't even need instructions. It's already put together. Wow, you just go ahead and... What if it really was already put together? Oh wait, you're there. Oh my goodness, I really think it's like so easy. So far, it looks like there's a piece here you gotta cut. Looks like there's six assembly instructions. Number one, lay the sleeper down on the flat surface. Open both the legs outward. Wait, the legs are already together. You don't have to build this. Wait, this is really easy. Holding the supporting structure, open both legs outward, insert the rail frame into the middle support frame by lining the buttons and holding oh, so you hear a click. Wow. One of these guys goes in here. What's this? About this? Oh, that's the bad boy. I'm looking at the wrong thing. That goes in here. No, it goes into this. That's what we're doing right now. and gently push into the side slots per the image with the curved bar facing down. So down really means up in this context. And they go in pretty gently. That was easy. All right, we've completed three steps and this is really simple. Guess what? No tools required. Next, you will hear the frame click into position once it's in place. Make sure both sides are securely locked in place. Where did it? It has closed. Wait, that was step number four. Number five, lift the side panel fabric over the side bar, inserting the side bar into the fabric. Secure the fabric with five loop fasteners. How do I do this? Oh, wait, how do you get it up so high? I think it just goes here. Is it supposed to be here or here? I couldn't reach it. I think it's supposed to be down the whole way. It's supposed to be over this, for sure. Yeah, I see the instructions. So we're doing well so far, but now we can't get the fabric over the poles. But we've only been at this for like five whole minutes, so I think we're doing pretty good so far. Do you think it's possible that we put it in backwards to go up? Because I think it's supposed to be a support here. And then like this. Yeah, Come back upside down. So we put it in backwards. That metal bar is supposed to be going up because that's gonna be the part like right next to the bed where you actually have the bassinet. So now I think the fabric will fit literally right over it. If you're wondering why yours doesn't fit, just Last step, once the frame is secure, turn the unit onto its feet, or did that. Place the mattress with the sheet into the bassinet. Your bedside me bassinet is now assembled. Wow. 
Whoa! So this is the mattress. There's already a sheet on it. The mattress is like this. It actually has a piece of wood underneath. Did we keep that? Yeah, sorry. The base? Yeah. And then it looks like the sheet will just pop up if you need to like wash it. Just like Velcro it on there. All right, pop it in. Nice. So the baby delight is officially put together. I don't know what these straps are for. I think these are like to anchor to your bed, but they already came with cash. I think you can just take them off if you didn't actually want them. We will see how useful these are. That assembly was so fast. We used no tools and we're done in under 10 minutes. And we messed up. For all the dads out there, this bad boy took about five minutes. If I didn't make that mistake of putting it on backwards, it would have been done faster. There were a lot of tools involved. All you needed was a pair of scissors to open the box. Now that we have the baby delight all set up, we are gonna carry it upstairs where our bedroom is, put it next to the bed and kind of show you guys what it looks like next to the bed. We'll adjust it to our bed height to make sure everything will fit. This but uh, is so light. Emmanuel likes how light it is. This is so light and it's still really sturdy. Oh, it, it does like a little, oh, I don't think it's supposed to be wobbling. Oh, good night. Let's take it upstairs and see how actually sturdy it is next to the bed. I don't think it's supposed to be moving. It's so light, you could just carry it on your head. That's how light this is. It's like, you don't even really even, oh, I have to carry it. It's really light, guys. All right, let's bring it in next to the bed and set it up. All right. So we have a king bed and I know that this adjusts, I think the adjusters are down here on the side. It looks like there's like numbers one through five, one through six that you can adjust. You want the mattress around the height of your bed. So right now it's a little bit too low. How easy it is to adjust. Push right. this button. I oh, think it might only go up to five. I think six is the max. Wow. Oh, you just, okay, you just turn it. Okay, well getting it from up and down, that's pretty easy, but six is the max, so. All right, do you wanna do six on the other leg too? Already at six, this is. This so we is... have a standard king bed, regular box springs. I don't think our bed is like overly tall, do you? This is as high as it goes. All right, how about I get in bed? Or yeah, you wanna get in bed? How about I get in bed? Okay. <laughs> it's so tall. Baby is there next hey, to you. Hey, wait, go get the baby. Let's go get the pretend baby. So of course, baby isn't here yet. So anytime that we are doing any sort of like reviews of products, this is the baby that we use. The only stuff I know that we have in the house, AKA Mickey Mouse. So Mickey Mouse is swaddled and ready to go check out the Baby Delight bassinet. Here comes baby. Baby is now in bed next to dad. Duncan is ready to check out baby. All right, so see how easy it is to get baby out of that <gasps> bedside sleeper. <gasps> The baby's crying. Hey, honey, don't worry. You stay asleep. I got it. Oh, hello. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, I gotta probably get him with two hands, don't I? Oh, it's a baby. Oh, it's a baby. He's hungry. Here's the bottle. Oh. I mean, the fact that it's this low isn't a big deal. It's not a big deal for you, but what about for me? You wanna give it a shot? Yes. So now we're gonna try it with me in the bed. My main focus as a first time mom is that I don't know how it's gonna be whenever I get home from the hospital. Like I feel like you don't wanna be bending over a lot. So that's my only concern about having it a little bit lower. It's probably six inches lower than the top of our mattress. So if I'm laying down at night, snoozing away, and then it's time to get a baby to feed or change the diaper, I have to roll over. I guess I need both hands. Maybe this is just a struggle because I have a belly right now. <laughs> and everything's a struggle, but ooh, a little bit of bending down, getting baby out, putting baby back in. <laughs> I kind of just wish it was up like two notches. <laughs> like if this is six, I wish there was like an eight. I can't tell if that's how just all bassinets are or not, but I think that there are ones that go higher. The other reason why I really wanted the baby delight and why I was like, yes, we need this one is because they actually have these little zippers on the side, like on just these front two sides that you can unzip. So not actually for sleep, but whenever you're just like, say you're awake in the morning and you just wanna spend time baby, there's these little notches you can undo and this bar actually comes down. So this bar folds down in the video or online. It looked like this bar just like went flat onto your bed because it was in line with your bed. So I felt that now I have to like kind of like shove it. If it's ran up against my bed, I kind of have to like shove it down and <laughs> kind of out of the way. But the goal would be if you're just kind of like laying in bed and you just kind of want to like play with baby, just kind of hang out and you don't have this bar in the way because it does not swivel, it does not push down. It just stays in this position. So that's why this thing is really important as opposed to some of the other ones where they kind of like push down, you know? It feels okay like this, but then like I said, for sleep, you have to put it back up. Then you just zip these sides right back up. The only other thing I wanna try is say I need to get out of bed. So this doesn't move. It does rock like this if I push it, which I don't know if it's meant to do that to like soothe baby to sleep or it's just not very sturdy. You know what I mean? But if I had to get out of bed at night, I can't swivel this out of the way. I have to. <laughs> 
I have to kind of hop down the bed like that. So I don't know about that. And then if I wanted to move this out of the way, so like say during the daytime, we wanted to put this in another room. I don't know that we will do that, but I feel like that's something that some people want to do is move it. You can kind of just drag this and it kind of moves a little bit. It's not super heavy, but I honestly don't think that I would take this out of the bedroom. I feel like Emmanuel could totally carry this, but I don't think that I could. I would probably just leave it in one place. I guess I could like slide it out of the way if I wanted to for the daytime and it's not super heavy to move. That's my initial bedside thoughts about the baby delight. Hey baby, you kind of out of breath, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like panting right now. I'm almost 35 weeks pregnant. We really need to get this bed set, little bassinet set up. Everything makes me tired. Like, who was it time for two whole minutes? <laughs> Deep breaths. <laughs> What are your initial thoughts overall? How do we like it? How easy was it to put together? Do you think we should keep it? I would keep it. I don't know, maybe like after five or 10 days, it will feel differently. I do recognize that it's low. It's pretty low from the bed. I appreciate that it's only 24 pounds, so you can move it up and down the stairs. And I really loved that we could have it assembled in five minutes. So I feel like this bassinet would be really good if you were somebody that wanted to like move it around your house because you could easily move it. You wouldn't really need like a pack and play. Yeah. We're in a townhouse. So like, I don't think we would bring it from one floor to the next, but also I feel like it would be nice if we were like traveling. So like, say you're going to like visit mm -hmm. the grandparents or your friends and you want to like take it with you for like overnight. Yeah. I don't know if you saw how fast it was for us to put together, but I'm pretty sure if we wanted to like collapse it, I feel like that's a sleeper that you can easily collapse. It would probably fit in your trunk. You'll probably keep that box and just throw it in that little box and it's fine. It's not like this massive piece of furniture that can't store. Yeah. So if you're looking for a bassinet that you can like move around and probably travel with you, but I am a little bit nervous about the height. So I feel like I'm going to like look it up a little bit more to see if it's recommended for it to be at the height of your bed. Because if that's like the goal, then I feel like this doesn't work for our bed. A lot of people have a bed that's relatively that size. It's like a box spring plus like, I don't think we have anything extravagant, like an 11 inch mattress or a pen. Like we don't have like a platform bed or something like super high. Pretty so decent. I feel like they should definitely make something that's higher but what i noticed is that like you saw that we can like shake it around so i wonder if like any higher it would be even more like unstable so that's probably why they don't do that mm -hmm. i don't know how i feel about that without like actually having a baby yet like i don't know how i would feel putting their baby in something that like i can like shake around you know like i kind of just wanted to like plop into place and be secure so those are our overall thoughts i like it i don't know if we're gonna keep it i like it i guess what we need to do is probably compare it with another one so maybe we'll just maybe compare us in video so check out the links in the description. I think we're going to compare it to another bassinet. And if we do that, and when we do that, that will be in the description below. So you can kind of check it out and kind of compare for yourself too. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you are looking at the Baby Delight bassinet to see if it's a good fit for you, as long as your bed is at the right height, I think that you would really like it. If not, you got to see how much you're ready to lean over to get baby in the middle of the night. Ignore yourself. <laughs> But if this is a bassinet that you have decided to make your own, make sure you have your scissors because it's the only tool you'll need to open the box. Everything else just clicks into place. And do you like the bedside sleeper? Do you like it? Do you like it? Oh. I think he's gonna be so confused because I actually sleep on that side of the bed and that's where his dog bed is. And so that's probably- He's gonna get the to boot. Go. We're probably gonna swap these and he's gonna get really confused. <laughs>